Hello there, this is Street Fighter Alpha Anthology, and uh, I'm going to be playing some Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper, uh, specifically it's hidden, uh, what's it called, random battle mode. Now Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper is a hidden, uh, unlockable hidden game in Street Fighter Alpha Anthology, so to get there, uh, you, you scroll around the menu here, you get to the Street Fighter Alpha 3, now you have to have beat... Street Fighter Alpha 3's arcade mode uh, on any difficulty, any character, that's fine. You just have to beat it once and it'll give you some message like secret game unlocked or something. So once you've done that and uh, ideally saved it to your memory card so you don't ever have to do it again, but you know, anyway, then you come back out to the main menu and you hold, if you want to get to the newly unlocked game, which is Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper, which is an updated version of Alpha 3 with more characters, you uh, you highlight Alpha 3 here like this and you hold the select button. So I'm holding the select button and then I'm going to push X while I'm holding the select button. And because I've beaten Alpha 3 arcade mode and uh, I'm holding select, when I push X it will load Street Fighter Alpha 3 upper instead of Street Fighter Alpha 3. So here goes. They look pretty similar at first, um, but eventually, uh, eventually you'll see new characters show up in this intro that are not in the regular Alpha 3, like Balrog and Phalong and so forth. So here we are in Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper. The menu, uh, the, the logo splash screen is a minty blue color instead of the what is it, tan or something in, in Alpha 3? Uh, you'll notice I've also got that upper swoosh arrow on the on the logo. That isn't there to start with. I activated that through a dip switch or something in some hidden menu. There's a lot of hidden stuff in this. So anyway, so don't count on that being there. But uh, all right, to get to the random battle mode, you toggle up and down on your D-pad to get to versus. But we don't want regular versus, so... Uh, to get to random battle mode, which you could also call the hidden versus mode if you want, but the official, uh, you know, uh, official guidebook calls it random battle mode. So we're going to push X like normal, but then immediately, immediately after pushing X and holding X, also push and hold triangle and R2. Almost, you have to do it almost in the same motion. You push and hold X and then immediately also push and hold triangle and R2. And if you do it right, it'll go... Uh, right to a matchup screen, a random matchup screen, instead of the character select screen. So here we go. I did it. Get ready, fighters. Go for it. Okay, and um, I specifically just want to play one character today, so it is on random characters, so it picked randomly Guy and Junie, but I want to do a specific character, so I'm going to go adjust my random uh, player settings here, and it does save these to the memory card, so it has my, my normal saved setting. I'm also going to turn the volume up, hang on a sec. Okay, um... So I, I'm doing episodes where I just try playing one character against random opponents. Uh, so I just did a Birdie episode, and I decided I could not play Birdie. That's why Birdie is unmarked here, unchecked. I'm not going to do Rose because she's got a flashy uh, special move. And I, I don't know, I just like to avoid flashing effects if I can. Um, and Bison I just don't like. He also has a flashy you know move where he rockets through the air while, I don't know, doing energy things. Uh, so next is Sagat then. So I'm going to unselect everyone except Sagat. So I will just be playing Sagat and playing it against all those opponents. Now the opponents that I have unchecked are unchecked because of flashy moves or unbalanced uh, play like Shinakuma or uh, that kind of thing. So, uh, all right, so now I am Sagat versus all those other people. Have to play out this one round to get to uh, the next 
match where it will do uh where it will give me Sagat. Um, you can set. I have in the main options menu set this to just one round matches. You can set it to you know normal uh, two or three round matches if you want to. Um, you can also set what isms it's using. I have it set to just using classic Xism because again that's a a mode with few flashy things. It doesn't have supers, it doesn't have guard breaks, etc. So that's what I use, but uh, you'll probably want to use something different, and you can set that here. Alright, so let's get Guy out of the way, and then we can get some Sagat going. Or trying to... I, I'm normally terrible with Sagat, so hopefully I'll learn a little here if I concentrate on playing just him and maybe get somewhere. I have not played this game in uh, I think 40 days or so, so gotta warm up a bit too. Oh, I have this on the highest difficulty, which is stupid because I'm not, I'm not any good at alpha or anything. I never really played alpha until quite recently, relatively recently. And uh, that should be pretty apparent. <laughs> All right, so that, that gets rid of Guy for us. Thanks, Junie. I, I do have the game on the highest difficulty, but you'll find the AI is a little goofy, and it, it makes some silly decisions even on the highest difficulty. Oh, that goes, he goes under. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how to play Sagat at all. I was thinking I would get out of that with an uppercut. That completely failed. Then I tried a tiger knee, and that didn't even come out. Uh, so that was bad. Oh, also, I changed... I forgot, this is something I discovered more recently. I think I changed colors there between matches, and you you can pick different colors by by hitting a, an attack button. Uh, it might be the original mappings and not your remap buttons. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Let me try, for instance, hitting my uh, light kick button, which right now is... Uh, that didn't, right, that's what I hit. Okay, purple shorts and dark tan. That was the um, square button. So I, don't, I, I really have no idea how to play Sagat. I mean, he's got all these fireballs. Oh, why did that? I'm having real trouble with jump kicks. I was trying a little Ken demo in my pre-recording. And uh, I couldn't do his jump kicks. It's just the timing is different than I am remembering or used to, I should say. Okay, so I was mashing a bunch of buttons, and I had different color shorts now. I'm not sure how many different colors there are. I think I wrote this down at some point. I forget. Well, as long as this keeps up, I'm in good shape. Uh-oh, he got in. Uh, I didn't keep up. Oh, I hate that. I hate, I hate Vega. I hate you, Vega. Why did you do that? I swear the AI will just mess around and let you take a bunch of its health off, and then it'll just kill you. Ugh. Well, Chun Li ain't messing around. Jeez. Oh, no. I like how she took her time, too. Like, I probably, if I'd been mashing really, really hard, I probably could have gotten out of that in time. But she was just taunting me. Oh, yeah, you like fireballs, huh, Charlie? Uh, I mean, one problem I have is I'm 
really bad with uppercut. I see that was supposed to be an uppercut, and I completely failed to execute it. That would have would have helped if I had uppercut him there. I mean, Sagat is like all uppercuts and fireballs. Given that I'm terrible at uppercuts, that's kind of a big hole in my ability to play him. Actually, he's not all... I shouldn't say that, though. I mean, he's got pretty good normal attacks if I could just get those down, too. Like a standing medium kick. That looks like it's got good range. Also, his fireballs actually don't do that much damage. Like, I just hit her twice, and I didn't even notice her health bar move. <laughs> so, given all that, I probably do need to do other things other than fireballs. Ow. That didn't... That was terrible. All right. I'm learning what does not work. I forgot that his fireballs do so little damage. Uh. Oh no. Oh, I thought I could at least throw her. Hey, I got an uppercut. And his uppercut, or his fireballs do so little damage, it's really just useful for keeping the AI or the opponent. Uh, just knocking them back a little and giving you initiative, I suppose. Okay, so this is this is a background with a lot of flashing lightning effects that I don't like, so I just skip it. So I just pause the game and let the AI beat me up. So I'm going to pause the recording so you don't have to watch that massacre, and I will we'll pick up in the next round when I have one more loss. I still haven't even won a match yet, so that's pretty sad. All right. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Hey, I want a match. Yay, thanks, DJ. Oh, no. I don't know how to play T-Hawk at all. I've always hated... I mean, T-Hawk is one reason why I don't really want to play Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It's just because I just don't understand. He always does his diving thing. I just don't get it. Oh, that was sweet, though. Oh, man. Oh, I was trying to uppercut him, but of course I failed. There's an uppercut, baby. Yeah! I beat T-Hawk. That's probably not the first time I have ever beat T-Hawk, but it is a rare time I have beat T-Hawk, so uh, I, I, that's why I was shouting. <laughs> that's why I was excited. Oh, now this is interesting. Oh. Oh, wait. What does the command to do his tiger knee? It doesn't even have a... Oh, wait. Maybe in Exism, he doesn't have a tiger knee. I think I tried... I think I had to look this up before, like... All right, I'm going to have to look it up again, because I'm not getting Tiger Knee to come out. <laughs> Zangi. So normally I thought Tiger Knee was an uppercut motion and kick, but that is not working. And back uppercut is not working. Uh, and okay, so and there's no in-game move list in this US version. They took them out. The Japanese version had them. They wanted you to buy the uh, whatever the scumbag company was that made the big fancy guidebooks. And uh, 
I eventually did buy the big fancy guidebook off eBay, a used version of, uh, I don't know, past six months or so, because I wanted to see what this mode was officially called, um, which is random battle mode. And I guess I could pull that out, but I'll just pull up a fact on, online. So I'm going to pause this and look this, uh, look this up. Hang on. Yeah, so in Exism, Sagat's uh, Tiger Crush, which I think is the flying knee, is not an uppercut motion as it is in Aism and Vism. It's a, it's a, what would you call it? A, a one third circle forward move. You you go from down down forward forward and then up forward, and a kick button. Uh, so. There it is. Okay. And I can also go over fireballs as you saw just there accidentally, of course, because I'm not fast enough to... I wonder if that's... It's actually not as hard to execute as I thought it might be. Hmm. <laughs> this is interesting. It's just a little weird, and I feel like I feel like it's necessary to reposition my hand on my arcade stick to pull it off, which is awkward. Oh, it's so fast. Man. But I'm better at executing it than a regular uppercut, because I can't do as... What can I do is punch up her cut. Uh, every time I tried it, I got massacred. Why am I so bad at that? I guess I'm just nervous. I still can't do it. Jeez. What is up? Practicing uppercuts, Rolento. Oh, that would have been good to do on there. Oh. Yeah, I have to reposition my hand to do the tiger crush motion. My wrist is just... <laughs> I have a namby-pamby wrist, and I cannot... Oh, I'm terrible. Well, Fei Long always beats me hollow anyway, but... Just trying to do uppercuts, man. Uh, I don't know about this. I should probably just give up on Sigat, or at least... His uppercuts and tiger crushes. Oh, here's the other flashy lightning stage. So right back with another win for the CPU. Oh, did I have that recording the whole time? I, I don't know. If I did, I apologize. So, oh, you can't wake up into a throw, even if they're right in front of you. And a failed uppercut. Ugh. You really have to hold the controller down in the down forward position. <laughs> I probably should have tried to win instead of just practicing uppercuts there. I almost had him. Crush does not do that much damage though. Like these are the heavy. Wow. Oh, he finally blocked it. Doesn't he say tiger knees sometimes? When does he say? I mean, maybe not in this game, but is there some game in which he says, in which he calls it tiger knee instead of tiger crush? Oh, Ken just went ham on me. Oh no. Cheap. Dang it, Ken. 
Oh, my scar is itching me. Oh, man, I couldn't even crush over his fireball. Oh. kicks. Jeez. So torched. It's, I don't know. I think my problem with Sagat is that he's got too many, too many attack options. I just cannot formulate a, a solid strategy. I keep thinking about all the different things I can do. I keep taking that trade. Oh no. He didn't want to. Oh no. I knew he was going to jump in. I did hit him with the uppercut, but it was not enough. Now I'm doing heavy uppercuts because I always think you have to hit heavy, but I wonder if Sagat's medium uppercut is one of those that has a better knockdown. Oh, of course I failed. Fireball, what a choke. Lift a fireball. Uh, yeah, Sagat. He's exposing my input deficiencies. Ugh, I can't even do a jump kick with the right timing. he blocked at the end. It's just the AI just messing with me. And I'm going to kill my wrist trying to do these tiger crushes in the X's. And oh, that was supposed to be an uppercut. Oh! got me out of the tiger crush. Jeez, she was able to beat the tiger crush. Right. Oh man. Oh, what am I doing with a, even just normal attacks now? Oh. It's supposed to be just a punch, not a... Oh, it just made a ragdoll out of me. All right, I'm... See, this is what happens when I try to do too many special moves. I just can't do anything. But that's my problem with Sagat. He's got too many special moves I keep wanting to spam. Fewer special moves. Yeah, I'm, I'm so bad with uppercuts and 
tiger crushes. I can't even hold the controller. Ugh. Oh, the air throw. The problem with... See, you have to hold the trigger on jump kicks for a long time. And he can do his air throw before that. Dang. so scared of Fei Long. He's just... I just can't. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, maybe I could get a stun with fireballs, but it's not going to do any appreciable damage. Oh my gosh. I, I just live in utter fear of Fei Long. trying to do tiger crush and flailingly whiffing and losing my grip on my arcade stick and I should have stuck with kicks. Can't do tiger crush. Uh. Oh man, she's... I can't even get the range at all. Nope. I got one. Yay for me. Wow. Oh, see, those are supposed to be fireballs. Now I've gotten the... I can't even do a proper quarter circle forward thanks to Tiger Crush's exism motion. I got stuck doing that. This is terrible. I should not play Sigat in exism, I think, is the lesson. I probably shouldn't, should just not play Sigat at all. Trying to use this heavy kick like an anti air, but it seemed to just have a really not great. Uh, okay, um. Man, I'm doing horribly. Usually I get like half of the AI's wins, or. So we've now looped the uh, stages. How was I doing that? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a proximity normal, that sort of uppercutty punch. That comes out when he stands close to them. I hate proximity normals. Uh, at least in a lot of cases, I do. No, not Fei Long. Uh, oh. Wow, I just can't even counterattack him. Uh, 
Someday I'll beat you, Fei Long. Someday, far down the road. Yeah, I have to reposition my entire arm to get in a position to do Tiger Crush. And it's not... Oh, I don't know. I've been doing completely the wrong inputs for throws anyway. It's two punches or two kicks. There, I was doing it again. Oh my gosh. Although, then again, in this game, the AI will tech just about every throw, at least on this difficulty setting, so I... There was me trying to do a throw. I just want to do one throw, guy. He's going to stun me. Shoot. Uh, this is just, just breaking me down to zero. throw, just any throw. Oh, why? You jumped in on me. I swiped my arm, but the throw did not connect. There's the throw. See, teched it. Uh, yeah, so I, I think there might be a setting where I can turn off throw teching, and uh, I keep being tempted to go look for that. But then I think, no, nah, that's cheap. But, I mean, if the AI just techs every throw, why? there's no point in even having throws in the game except for the AI's benefit. And that's why I think it's a little cheap, because, of course, it would just be helping me to take them off. I started trying to do some tiger crushes in there, and that was a bad idea. the story with Adon and Sagat. Oh. Oh, we're, we're both Muay Thai, aren't we? Muay Thai fighters? Uh, probably both Thai, I don't know. Oh, dang. <laughs> ah, that nif nifty little jump and a half over my fireball. Nifty? Well, definitely the best I'm doing is with medium kick. At least I know where it goes and I don't have trouble executing it most of the time. Oh no, see, she teched it. What's even the point? 
Uh, I mean, in a way, I'm kind of glad because I don't like the... I don't like the Alpha 3 throw input having to hit two buttons. It's a pain. I mean, I, I don't really like... Well, the only thing worse than I can think of offhand is this third strike where you have to hit two two buttons of the same strength. Nope. Two lightning flashy Rolento. See you on the other side. So I record... Well, this will be interesting. Oh, wow. That's an anti-air. Just a light punch. See, now, CPU Sagat tends to throw too many fireballs. Oh, shoot. I should have. Yeah, he threw way too many fireballs. And I mean, you can you can soak up a bunch of his fireballs anyway, because they do like a pixel or two pixels of damage. It's ridiculous. Oh no, this is gonna be bad. Oh. oh. Wow. Totally side switched several times. Oh no. The only thing worse is Fay Long. Yeah, that was supposed to be an uppercut. That was. <laughs> His throw, he just orbits your head. Okay, well, it's just, just trade every time except when I screw up. Hey, we didn't trade. I got a clean hit. Look at me, Ma. Oh, no, I'm dead. <sighs> so, oh, God. I can't even do the regular uppercut without annoying my wrist at this point. <laughs> so the lesson is, I'm terrible at uppercuts. I need to try to play him without uppercuts, essentially. Which is bad. But could work. Oh, if I could remember the throw input for one thing, which I can't. I wish there was a dip switch to switch it to one button throws. Uh, but I, I think the deal was, I don't remember if it's, it's probably two button throws in the first alpha game, isn't it? I mean, I think it was that people always complained in Street Fighter 2 that throws were too strong or something, and they, they wanted to... Make them more difficult. I don't know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know what to do when Vegas starts doing his stupid physics defying flips. Oh, oh, I don't know if I've even seen that entrance for Guy before. Man, he is booking. Dang. I can't beat him in the air. Holy smokes. He just toyed with me until that huge combo. Yeah, I could not beat him in the air. I guess I was trying medium. I probably should have gone to lights, I guess. I'm used to using Sigat's lights. Oh. I didn't want to do a kick button throw on somebody, but... Oh, God. Get throws. 
Uh, I'm so bad at cigar. So the question then is, if I'm that bad with cigar, do I keep playing him? Because I get depressed, like, even though I could play him without uppercuts and throws and, uh, well, mainly just without uppercuts. Because I play everybody without throws and effects. So, yeah, there's no point in throwing. They just tech it every time. It's, it's absurd. Oh. I missed it. Oh, I don't know what to do. There's a kick throw. Yeah, look at me. Oh, I tried to straight punch it, but completely failed. All right, all right. Did they just build Adon to beat Sagat? Is that the point? Is he like Sagat's arch rival from Thailand? Uh, of course, I can't tech anything because I'm too stupid to even think of it. Every time. <laughs> oh. Oh, uppercuts in this game. The input is really strict. Oh, killing my wrist. Oh, do him. Air fireballs. Jeez. Wow. He's just camping me. So, one thing I was thinking of there, and of course, not even halfway executing, was sometimes you can just hit the AI with uppercuts on their wake up. Not your wake up, but theirs. If you're next to them in time, I wasn't really there. Oh, he didn't fall down. Jeez. Uh, uh. Well, I, I have DJ's number anyway. I figure, I, uh, I feel like I can't even play with Shoto's at all. I'm just not. Uh, I mean, play against Shoto's. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Hey, there's Red Shorts. Maybe it was heavy punch. I was mashing on in frustration. Oh, doing, trying to throw him out of a jump kick. Uh, well, that's not gonna work. Jeez. How does the AI get those huge <laughs> cross-ups like that where I'm like completely whiffing a move? They have all day. It's so embarrassing. Ugh, again. Ugh. The wake-up game is completely absent from my repertoire. Jeez. 
Why did I start thinking about uppercutting? Oh, the evil views. Oh. oh, see, I don't have Tatsu. Okay, Tatsu. Ugh. Why does the standing heavy kick just go oh, wow the wake up throw? I don't know enough about how the timings of throws and any moves work in this game to do stuff like that. I just have to play a lot to get that stuff down. Oh, there's a nice cross up. Well, Vega is surprisingly goofy, and as long as he doesn't start doing his uh, stupid flying moves, I feel like I can work him pretty good with Sagat's kicks. I got that slide of hers. Ugh. Hey, I fireballed some of you to death, finally. <laughs> Notice she had like two pixels of health and it took two heavy fireballs to kill her. <laughs> oh, man. Guy's got all these fancy entrances. Oh, I did a light kick and I still didn't get him. This background is so hard to see anything against. So I like jump kicks. Jump kicks are kind of my favorite move in fighting games, and Sagat has some pretty good jump kicks, so that's one reason to try to play him. Even though I can't do pretty much any of his other stuff, aside from fireballs, but his fireballs are really only a sort of tactical, positional timing tool, or I guess a chip out from long range. If he has him down to almost zero health. Oh, gosh. Ah. Oh, oh Charlie. Dang it. That one big combo he laid into me where he ends with the uh, the flipping kick thing. And that took off so much help. Dang. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. actually supposed to be an uppercut. I didn't realize until way late that he had crossed me up. Why am I trying to do uppercuts? Because I want to lose. Because I hit him with one early in the match and that got me thinking I could do uppercuts. Junie has been kicking my buns all night, hasn't she? She's basically a better jump kicker than I am. Chip her out in infinite time. Oh, let's see. It's just one jump in takes takes priority over all my fireballs. I mean, the fireball hits I made. I just don't do enough damage. Oh, God. That's not the throw input, you goon. What? Why can't I throw him? The throw in this game is ridiculous. There, I did one. Now I can die happy. 
Kill me, Ken. Kill me. I get a kick throw on you. Also, Ryu and Ken's fireballs do way more damage than Sagat's in this game. It's so unfair. I mean, I could hit him with like 40 fireballs and it'll just time out. And he'll still win. But really, what's going to happen is he'll get a jump in pretty soon and annihilate me. Oops. Fourteen seconds. I don't think I have time to do enough damage. Especially not with those two whips. Nope. <laughs> Look at that. How many fireballs did I hit him with? And I could only do about fifty percent of his dam of his life with those. Don't worry, Dan. We'll get some psycho kung fu on the karate, I guess. <sighs> oh, I wanted him to do that, but I meant to block it and then do a throw. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, I finally used it as an anti-air. Yeah! Finally remembered to get a clean throw input. Throws in this game are so hard to figure out. It's such short range, I guess. I don't know. I got the red. Whoa! God, I hate that throw. No. It was going so well for a while. That's when I was doing kicks, I guess. I beat Fei Long! I beat Fei Long! I beat Fei Long! I beat Fei Long! You hoo hoo hoo! I am still the worst I got, but I beat Fei Long! <laughs> Oh, I thought he was going to come back and take that, though. He was he was doing it. And then I remembered medium kick. Now, Balrog. He's going to do a charge punch from that far back. Turnaround punch. Uh, yeah, all he needed was one in. Oh, actually, you took a lot of damage from those kicks. What the heck did I do that hurt him so bad? It wasn't the fireballs. I guess it was a, those two or three kicks when he came in, but kind of surprising. Just that low on health. Yeah, you guys are Muay Thai broskies. Those were all supposed to be uppercuts. Uh... Why am I trying to play his game? I can't do uppercuts. Oh, the kick. Ah, the kick arc. I cannot, I can't get used to it when I play Adon, Adon. Can't get used to it against him. Ah! Something just teleports over me. I still haven't figured out what to do with Hadon, basically. Or Akuma. I wonder if you could pronounce it Akuma. Oh, the, oh no. I was going to say that air fireballs, but just about everything he's got is working me. Doesn't really matter, does it? Jeez. <laughs> Pathetic. But I beat Fei Long once. 
Oh, did I interrupt his shining scar, or did that just not do at that time? Oh, the Tatsu. The air Tatsu. Oh, what is he doing? Well, oh, shoot. Peter Shoto, yay, finally. <laughs> Not counting that other Sagat. Oh, good. We'll just have a good chuckle at each other. Oh, no. Oh, no, what? Oh, God, the anti-air. Light punch. Oh, no, this time he's got the uppercuts going. That's the one thing. If if the Sagat gets uppercuts going on you, you're dead. Which is why I should learn to do them, but I can't seem to do that. Shoot. These jump kicks do... Like, if you land a jumping heavy kick and then a sweep heavy, that, that's a lot of damage. Let me get one of those in. Usually when I lose this badly with a character, I, I am just in agony, not having any fun. But I like I like jump kicks, and Sagat's, especially medium jump kick, is pretty sweet. Oh, see, I tried to throw. Ugh. Oh, he side-switched me, so my uppercut attempt failed. How am I not dead? Of course. Uh, yeah, so that was... You know, if only I could do uppercuts, that would have been not as bad. Oh, I want to fight DJ, but it's the flashy stage. Well, DJ got his revenge. Okay, so I want to get more throws in on Dan when he does his Tatsu. Do your Tatsu. It's your only good move. Oh, that was weird. No, Tatsu's. Tatsu's jump. Oh, okay. There, or just taunt in front of me. Oh, that doesn't do much damage. Maybe I better do the... Uh, oh, he teched it. So, wait a second. Is he not teching the kick throw? Jeez, damn. <laughs> Just medium kick button. So wait, the AI really isn't taking the kick throw, are they? I don't think they have. That's weird. Is it because it's a kind of repeat one? Ah, where you mash the button? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I thought I had it. I thought I had the range on that. Oh, come on! Oh man, I've completely lost range. Oh. Ah, shoot. I don't know. Suck. Well, DJ's getting me back. Playing in his pants. So she texts the punch throw. She doesn't tech the kick throw. But she got a tech bonus right at the end there. As she got out of... So maybe they can only tech the kick throw the final 
throw where I would throw them down or something. So I do get a little a little damage out of the initial holding them up and squeezing them thing. Ow. Oh, see, I was going to walk up and throw him, but uh, that was a bad idea. Oh, no, I don't know what to do when he's got me in the corner. Well, my attempt to basically my stunning him led me to die because I'm a moron. Okay, what's it do against? Oh, oh, heavy kick. Wow. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Uh, I thought I had something with heavy kick, but then he got tired of that. Oh no, Fei Long's gonna want revenge. Oh shoot. Oh, he delayed the last... Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, he freaked me out too much. Dang it. Dang it, very long. Oh, hey. Yeah, they still tech it, but the tech only comes after some damage has already occurred. Ow. Oh, dang it. So that's interesting. I. Well, I'm dying so fast, I'm going through the stages faster than I usually do. Well, I'm getting a little of a feel for a severely new, uh, severely cut down Sagat. It mostly just uses uses medium kick. Oh jeez. And in a lot of cases, that's just not enough. That combo. Look at where look at where my health is. He hit me like twice and then that combo. Oh shoot. Ah. Oh, I should have had it. No oh, God. Oh, that was a horrible double medium kick with. I don't, how? Why? The chokes. Keep him off me. What do I? He just kept sliding incessantly, and I couldn't kick him enough <laughs> to make him stop. Uh, oh wow! Oh wow! Jeez! I don't know what to do. <laughs> I forgot you can Tatsu past fireballs. It's showtime. Face it straight. 
There I go, trying to throw foolishly. Ah. running away the whole time. Yeah, that's... If you can't do his... Tiger Crush on command, you can't really keep people off you or his uppercut. at close range if it does that move first. Of course, I should be thinking of light kick more, probably. Oh, except they just wade right through it. Yeah. Oh, the noogie. Well, yeah, I don't know. When I, when I start thinking about light buttons as well, that's too <laughs> it's too much for my brain to handle. Uh, that's my whole problem with Sagat. Too many options. When I keep it to medium kick is when I do my best with him, which is not great, but at least it's something. Now, Kyle, I feel like I should be able to beat once in a while, and I just have not managed it. Oh, that was so flaky. Ah, how did it miss? Jeez, I'm missing all these kicks that... Ugh. Gosh, I want to set it just to fight Guile because I'm mad. I feel like I should be able to beat Guile. Stupid. Let's party. Go for broke. Oh, I don't want to fight Ryu right now. It's too painful. Jeez. Oh, that light kick anti-air. Damage. Ah. Alright. 
I started trying to do other moves and that was a huge mistake. Oh no, Juni again. This is a lot of Junis. All Junie does is jump kicks. I should be able to do that. Oh my gosh. She massacres me with just jump kicks. Uh, a lot of eight on, too. used to his normals. <laughs> I beat Akuma. Our, oh, shoot. Too slow. Alright, I want to set uh, this. Where is... Um, whoop. No. Oh, I have to get the other controller. Gosh dang it. Alright, hang on. How the heck did that happen? I hit some kind of button picking this thing up that turned off almost all the player two characters. It, oh, it inverted it. What button is that? Triangle? No. Uh, how do I get back in there? Square? Circle? Uh, oh, that's L2. That's handy. Well, that speeds it up a little, so we turn 30 on, turn anybody else off, do some 30 practice. Oops. <clears throat> conflict between the microphone cable and the second controller cable. That's good. That's good. That's real professional. I I could kick him out of it. I I could do it again. Dang it. They do automatically tech their way out of that throw. It's just it has a little guaranteed damage, I guess. All right, bring on the birdie.
should be able to beat him. on him. against the faster jump-in characters like Genie. Okay, that's not good against Birdie though, really. Oh no. with Dan too. Sometimes we just go right through each other.
Okay, Guile. Going through me again. Ah, oh, dang it. Oof. Ah. No show on this. Take the C. Uh, oh. Okay, he just decided to cross me up every time. That'll work. As I go for the medium kick, he just does a heavy crouch kick. Brilliant. Brilliant. I should have. Why didn't I fireball him? Because I'm dumb, that's why. Ah, duh, the going through you thing. No! And I really don't get. The heavy kick is so sketchy. As an anti-air, it, it looks like it should work great. But I don't understand where its hitbox is, or hurtbox, or whatever it is. Whichever one is, uh... against Guile. This, this CPU Guile is really aggressive. He does not really try to turtle. Ah. But why would he try to turtle against me? for my lame cigar. So. Uh, 
that's supposed to be an uppercut. I, yeah, I don't need to do uppercuts. I'm going to kill my wrist and kill my character. Let's go back to basics. Back to basics. Ah, I wish you could pick which stages you want as well as characters and isms. Just heavy punch. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, heavy kick is some weird anti air. Ah, yeah, see, he just went, like, right over it with the greatest of ease again. Oh, that's the problem with heavy punch. He figured it out. Punch beats yours. Oh, but not the heavy kick. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. no. Nah. Yeah, the, the crouching heavy kick is a problem. Inched in and did a crouching heavy kick. What a what a smart guy. Of course, if he was really smart, he would just throw fireballs at this point, because I'm just doing stupid stuff. Ow. But it doesn't take a genius to beat me, that's for sure. What? Jumping heavy punch. Oh, jumping heavy punch is weird. That's not good. Alright, so I got lucky with that first match of Heavy Punch, and he has since learned how to kill me real good if I try doing that. I'm still doing heavy punch. Oh, jeez. Uh, 
Ah, the jump over throw. Jeez, so many throws. Good to get him off me when he's close. Uh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Gotta block that. No. with light kick is it doesn't do much damage. So I end up wondering why he's still got health left. Ugh. You let him land that somersault kick combo. That's the nasty one. That's the one Charlie loves, too. So, but I, I found something before it kind of almost went to heck, which was medium kick into heavy kick. I don't know why I haven't tried that before. I guess I just thought it wouldn't work. It's not really working. Is working. It sure worked there. Medium jump kick into heavy kick. It's not a combo. He just gets hit by it. I don't think it's a combo. Ah. Uh. Facing this time. Even if it doesn't hit, it blows him back. Dang it. Oh no. Jeez. me into the corner. Oh, so bad. So bad I blew it. Ah. That was 
bad. What the? See if the bot gets hitbox gets so. Oh my gosh. He's just playing with me right now. His hitbox gets so weird when he's doing that heavy crouch kick. Ah! God, I'm getting it all wrong. Going all wrong. it. I had it and I lost it. Maybe it's because I'm trying this medium kick to heavy kick and that's... Uh, see there, a medium kick would have hit him, I think. And there, I should have done the heavy kick. Uh, but I'm I should also recognize the range, and if I'm too close, I need to switch to, to light kick. Now, is he at 99 wins, or has he just maxed out the counter? I doubt he's maxed out the counter. Uh, uh, didn't so he did max out the counter so I, my win percentage is gradually getting better Ow. I'm gonna hit with an anti-air heavy Just trying jump heavy kick, heavy kick. Because <laughs> he's not actually meeting me in the air much, so I don't need the anti air property of jumping medium kick. Oh, there he did. Uh, dang it. Just go all heavy kick, obviously. No, nope, I need to be able to handle all three kicks. Punches would be good too to work in, but let's not get crazy. I can't even get more than one kick at a time. Well, I'll just stand there. How about that? once I got side switched. Yeah, I think heavy kick is not the answer, and I kind of knew that early on, and then I forgot, and I thought maybe it was. Well, that, and when you miss, you're in huge trouble. Almost brought it back with medium kick.
A little more aggressive, a little better thinking through which buttons to hit. And mixed it up a little. Got some punches in. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, wow. See, I don't know what to do in the corner. The ranges get all wrong. And a little lucky there. Broke on the heavy kick at just the wrong time. Uh, Yeah. See, gets me in the corner and the range is... Ah, oh, I should have done light punch or something, I guess, but I don't know that button yet. Dang it. Kick wasn't actually doing a ton of damage. Hey, come on, stand up, face it straight. Oh no. Oof. Probably what I should do is wake up uppercuts if I can figure out how to do them reliably. That would be what a good Sagat would do, I would think. Hey, come on, stand up, face it straight. Uh, oh, he didn't tech it. I'm flailing. at me, your dog tag. Let's party. Go for broke. Oh. There. Trying, I was trying to wake up uppercuts that whole second half of the round, and I couldn't do a single one. I'm not even sure it's a thing with Sagat. He has some kind of invulnerable. Maybe he has to do a medium. He's trying heavy, of course. Oh, shoot. himself. He kind of impressed me, I guess. I 
can just modulate the timing of the jump kicks too. It helps a lot. But I'm not smart enough to do that yet. There. Wait a second, I'm not improving my win ratio because I think when he hit 99 wins, I I stopped getting wins counted too. Ah. Oh. oh, did you see how fast he was wiggling to get out of that stun? It's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, disqualified. But uh yeah, I can't dis Oh no, I did get a okay, I'm I'm just hallucinating. I did get a counter thing. Thirty four wins. Look at me. Eventually I'll get up to ninety nine, then we'll see Guile, then we'll see no, I'm not gonna play that long. That would take forever. Shoot, I gotta gotta brain up. to do and I just didn't do it. Just didn't get the timing right on those last few exchanges. The timing was there for me to do. Oh, got no way to light kick to get him off me. Heavy kick to get him off me, I guess. That was lucky. if you can be patient enough to hang on the jump in until you're low enough to hit him with the uh, flying medium kick because my temptation is usually to hit it earlier but he's crouching so it would whip. The timing is pretty strict. Oh shoot. Oh no. Gonna be able to hold that. Uh, that was bad. It all depends on your skill. Go for broke. What am I doing? No. No. balls are giving out on me. I kind of figured out stuff to do. Jeez. Uh, arg. do anything. I couldn't sustain anything. He kept getting encounter hits very frustratingly. Dang it. 
dang it. Uh, don't get frustrated, you won't win that way. Jeez. That chop, man. That was, that was so sad for me. Slowly rotates through the air out. Disaster. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm just getting lazy now. I can't do this anymore. At least he's not getting <laughs> wins counted. So take that guy out. He can't win anymore. I just look bad. Oh god. He needed me with his stupid sweep. Chop. The chop. <laughs> what is up with the chop? Oh, that guy with the pail is freaking me out. But the chop, man. I'm getting the chop. Okay, I'm getting. I've lost my ability to be patient now. I guess that big combo of his starts with the friggin' chop. At least on a jump in. Stupid chop. Yep. Waited too long. I should have got him with that last jump in, and I waited too long. He got away. Hey, come on, stand up, face it straight. He's beating me with all the normals. Do the flip kick. Dang it. He did the sonic boom, and I I don't know if I can counter that with my kicks. Uh, it's too bad I'm such a limited Sagat. Oh, that worked. Dang it. Crouching light kicks get me out of turnaround trouble, it seems. Don't do your best. Ah. 
jumped out of it. He didn't kick it. Dang it. Alright, I think I'm gonna end it there. I'm I'm wearing out. He's worn me down. He's probably got about 300 wins. <laughs> oh, and we this is the beginning level, so it's a good place to stop. So, wow. That is a heck of a matchup against Guile, though. I kind of like that. I mean, he's slow enough that I don't get completely tuckered out. But he's got all these tricky things he can do. And his he's got normals that are very effective counters to some of my normals. Well, so normally, if I was losing that badly with a character, I would take them off of my rotation, my random uh, selection. But I like jump kicks, and Sagat's got sweet jump kicks, and I think I'll keep playing with him even if I don't win that much with him. I, boy, my wrist is not happy. I, I sure learned that... Uh, I mean, I, I should be able to do wake-up uppercuts, but the uppercut detection in this game is really tough. And uh, I, uh, my, my failure rate was extremely high. And then his exism, uh, Tiger Crush, I can't... I, I end up just moving this moving my position the position of my arm on the stick and then that throws me off my ability to do any other move <laughs> so i can either go like all tiger crush and maybe a little uppercut or be able to do his other moves and that's that's t terrible so i mean i should be able to work in a wake up uppercut now and then i, I do have to figure out how wake up uppercuts actually work and this guile is cagey enough that he doesn't usually come in and sit right over me so it it makes me it gives me enough pause that i i get really uncertain trying to think about doing wake up uppercuts so and if i once that happens then i'm not paying enough attention to protecting myself otherwise and then and it all goes to pieces so uh but i i feel like i learned a couple of things particularly grinding it out against Guy all about uh, timing the, the jump kicks and, and what, you know, the, the sort of pushback range you get off them and that kind of stuff. And uh, I, I was getting a little light kick action in to brush him off, but the problem with that is they can come right back and it didn't hurt them that bad. And uh, then you might be just taking a bad exchange if you're stupid like me. Uh, well, so, <laughs> so I lost huge with Sagat, but I'm going to keep playing with him because I, I kind of like, I kind of like it. I kind of like the jump kicks, even though I get pasted more often than not. <sighs> well, since you've been this patient, I'll let you in on a little secret, which is that I just ordered off eBay a, uh, a, uh, unopened copy of... Uh, Tekken 6, it's the greatest hits version or whatever, but uh, it was just 20 bucks, so because I started thinking, wait, what about Tekken 6? Because when I went and bought a bunch of Tekken games just for the heck of it, uh, Tekken 7 was on sale, and on PSN, Tekken 1 and 2, the PS1 versions, of course, for PS3, and then, uh, Tekken 5 Dark Rev Dark Resurrection and Tekken Tag Tournament 2 all of those are for PS3 downloadable and they are all pretty inexpensive so I just got all those I thought let me try this Tekken thing but Tekken 6 is not downloadable they never made it downloadable on PS3 you have to get the disc version I didn't really want to get any disc games I didn't really think about getting any disc games because I just like leaving my one current PS3 disc game in the PS3 permanently, and that's Virtua Fighter 5, of course. 
Uh, but I started thinking about, well, what about Tekken 6? And I was walking, looking at some videos, and, man, that game looks good. I mean, that's a good-looking game, uh, just visually. I mean, I, I don't know about the fighting. I'm not, I'm not good enough at analyzing Tekken by sight, uh, f- uh, fight-wise. Um, but, like, it's got really cool stages. They really came up with some creative stages. I mean, it looks, it makes the Tekken 7 stages look just brain dead. There's, there's like a stage where half the landscape is sideways. There's, there's stages, there's like a cool stage where you're in this, you're in this sort of low wooden open structure, but it's dark because it's, it's big low roof over you but then the ocean is crashing and you can see waves breaking outside where it's light and it's just really it's just some really cool and there's like breakthrough ceilings and stuff and you can break into this dungeon as one level and ah it's just really cool stage design in that game that that's probably what impressed me more than anything but even the lighting of the stages is gorgeous and um so i uh i figured well it's also got Ghost Battle, which is the mode that I am enjoying in in Dark Resurrection. Um, so I thought it, I thought I should try it out. Uh, so I ordered it. Then today I was looking at a little more video, and I, well, and I was looking up reviews and articles about Tekken Six, and I found a couple of things that did suggest that the one itching worry I had might be true, which is that. In Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and Tekken 7, the the fighting just got really generic. All the characters just feel kind of the same. Even though some of them might have different animation styles, they all still do the same attacks, really, if you if you if, when you're feeling it, when you're controlling it. It's all the same attacks. In Tekken 5 Dark Revolution, that's not a resurrection. God, I can't. That's not really the case. P- characters still feel different and it's funny to read, I ended up on a lot of old message boards about comparing Tekken 5 to 6 and 6 to 7, and people will say that, oh, you know, Tekken 7 is more balanced, or people, I think, were saying, too, that Tekken 6 was more balanced than 5, and it's like, well, yeah, they balanced it by making all the characters essentially play very similarly, and I, I had kind of thought that started with Tekken Tag Tournament in order to make the uh you know team combos possible because if, obviously if everybody can do the same attacks they can do the same combos and that simplified their development a lot also that they just poured a ton of characters into that game and if they all essentially attack the same that makes that a lot easier too but uh one maybe it was an IGN or some big site review said that Tekken Tag Tournament 2 was actually a spin-off of Tekken 6. And that made me worry. It was like, oh no, did they get the genericized combat from Tekken 6? Um, uh, I also, I don't think I'm too fond of the characters that got added in 6. There's like the, the rotund guy, the the woman who does the sort of snaky movement, uh, idle movements. That kind of stuff, but that could just be because, you know, I was playing them in Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and Tekken 7 where they're just very generic feeling. Um, Or Tekken 7. Uh, So I'm a little worried, given that Tag Tournament 2 is a spinoff of Tekken 6 and that I did find uh, one old message board where a guy was saying, he was complaining specifically about Tekken 6 versus Tekken 5 Dark Revolution saying that they genericized the characters in Tekken 6. So, I mean, a lot of the stuff you read from these characters, from people posting, is, you know, it's just weird hyperbole and they get really obsessed about certain things and, you know, that's fine. They're they're hardcore fans. Um, but, uh, and it's it's really striking if you're just flailing around trying to find comparisons of the later Tekken games, it's actually hard to find people comparing the feel of the gameplay. A lot of people, for instance, I think there was a big game fax thread where people were comparing six and seven. And they were a lot of people they were sort of talking about quote unquote gameplay, but they were just saying, Yeah, the gameplay in seven's better. 
Game Plan 7 is better. Game Plan 7 is better. And it's like, what What do you mean by that? What do you mean? And Or they were comparing 5 to 6 and saying the gameplay is better. And it's like, well, if you're going from like gameplay in 5 where the characters play differently to gameplay in 7 where the characters all feel the same, but you like that and it's... I guess it's worked. Pe- people are convinced that it's better. I, but I think a lot of the time what they're talking about is balance between characters. And obviously, if all the characters play similarly, that's easier to balance. So, And I gradually, fighting game companies have put more, or development teams have put more attention to balance because now online play is a big thing. Uh, and people will trash a game if it doesn't have somewhat balanced online. Um but it's it's really hard to tell from most of the comments what people are are talking about about gameplay and did the genericization of the gameplay occur starting with Tekken Tag Tournament Two or with Tekken Six? And I'm I I am starting to suspect it started with Tekken Six. Um, so I I'm trying to keep my hopes for actually enjoying playing Tekken 6 low because I I have a, a fear that you know, it'll get here and, and the stages will look cool but all the characters will feel samey like they do in Tag Tournament 2 and 7. Um, so hopefully that's not the case. I'll, uh, but uh, my other fear is that maybe it'll be like a midway so there'll just be a little genericized or halfway genericized and I'll be like, I can kind of feel still feel uniqueness in the characters maybe i'll still play because it looks so nice and uh well it'll be interesting to see i figure well maybe i wasted 20 bucks except that at least i'll know i'll know what tekken 6 feels like and if the characters feel generic or not i was also comparing given that i just played uh craig marduk in five i'm sorry I'm, i'm talking about tekken you came here for Street Fighter Alpha 3 upper probably so you should just stop now because I'm not talking about Street Fighter anymore it's all Tekken now because I gotta get this out of my head um I was comparing Craig Marduk because I just played Marduk in Dark uh Dark Resurrection yesterday uh and posted that today and uh Marduk is I love him I and it's not Marduk it's Marduk but I say Marduk because I don't know I'm stuck saying that in my head um, I love him. He's he's probably my favorite character so far in Dark Revolution. I haven't really tried everybody yet, but I think he's gonna stay my favorite probably. Anyway, in uh in Five Dark Revolution, he's super fun. I played him a bunch um yesterday, and so I had him in my heads, and I wanted I I remembered something from I tried him back when I I tried a little Tekken Tag Tournament too before you know finding they all felt the same. And I was also disappointed in his appearance. They, in Tech Tournament 2, and I didn't play him in 7 because you would have to pay because he's DLC in 7. So I was like, well, I, I hate the feeling of every other character in 7. Chances are Marduk won't feel like I enjoy him in 5 anyway, so I'm not going to pay money for that. But um, And I got the game for only 10 bucks, And the DLC Marduk would have been was seven bucks or something probably anyway um just looking at him visually and comparing his like starting stance they they changed the the uh the model for Marduk not in six he still has essentially the same stance and proportions from dark revolution to six so I don't know if they used exactly the same models or if they just, but it seems like they did, or at least took the same high definition base model that they, you know, that the artist built and, and generated a, a maybe slightly higher polygon character from that. But uh, he still has the same stance, the same sort of big neck that's thrust forward, the same uh, kind of wide waist uh, and wide hips. And then if you compare that with Tekken 7 Marduk, he, uh, he's he got much more sort of upright stance and a thinner waist. It's sort of weird. Um, and to me, 
I had thought that he looked different, and maybe I wasn't looking at Tag Tournament 2. Did I? I thought he looked different in Tag Tournament 2 when I played Tag Tournament 2. Oh, now I don't remember if I looked at uh, today at, at a Tag Tournament 2. Mm. Well, anyway, at some point they changed his model, and I was really disappointed with the change in his look. But he looks, he's still the cool look that I like in 6, so that's at least encouraging and maybe gives me hope that he still plays similarly to Dark Re Resurrection, but uh, I don't know. It's all, he, it's probably, it's probably not going to be the gameplay I like in 6, but it could be, and at least I'll get to check it out. Um, it's funny, too, the number of players who really evaluate the games on how many modes and stuff they have, but then... Because 6 has a ton, but then you have people countering and saying, well, look, and look at this, you chumps. You're basically doing the same thing in all these modes. You're just fighting. It's just different, you know, different format or whatever. And you're just doing the same thing. And it's, it's kind of funny to see the back and forth, but uh, but it is funny what people's priorities for rating the different Tekkens are. And, and uh, it's really interesting to me that people... And people will say, no, you know, six was garbage, but five was even more garbage. Or five was garbage, but six is more garbage. Or they're both garbage. And then why are you here then? <laughs> because they're obviously still involved. So uh, it's funny. I mean, Tekken has some really dedicated fans who have put up with a lot of changes in the in the franchise. But, you know, they stuck with it. And so there's something there that they like really like I mean I I like Dark Resurrection I never thought I would like Tekken games but Dark Resurrection is just fun it's just fun the characters each one has its own slightly different feel uh, it's a very direct game you get in there and you bash it up and hits are big there's explosions everywhere there's tons of characters tons of stages it's ridiculous it's just, just ridiculously good fun time and I think that's kind of the core of what people like about tech, and it's just this over the top, tons of stuff. Uh, but and they're not always; they don't always care so much about how what the feel is. And the feel to me is one thing that it really changed it a lot up through Tag Tournament Two, or maybe it's six. So I don't know, but definitely with Tag Tournament Two, it it went to this generic, very I don't know what other words I can use. I mean, it, it's a, well, it's kind of, a, I, I think at the time I was saying, at the time I played Tag Tournament 2 and 7, it's just this very sort of, kind of just punch bro brawler feel, which is solid, but it's, it also feels a little monotonous to me. But, uh, but it seems to be what a lot of people just enjoy. I mean, I guess... You could say that Namco basically boiled the gameplay down to that essential. It's like, what do people most like in the gameplay? And it's this, so we'll just do this for every character all the time. And so that, and it balances things and it makes it easy to crank out characters. And so it solved a lot of problems for them, I guess. Uh, but it, not so much for me. Uh, people also say that. The character customization in 6 is really good. There isn't too much argument about that. So uh, I kind of... That appeals to me because I, I get really sucked into character customization. But if uh, if the gameplay is, is like 7, then I'm just going to be sad inside and won't, won't be able to stick with it. But... It'll be interesting to find out. It's a it's a pretty looking game anyway, so I'll make at least one video of it, and um, so that'll get here. Uh, well, either late next week or early the week after that. Uh, what am I actually going to play in the in these horrible waiting period before then? Uh, then. Um, I might just go and jump on some more Virtua Fighter Five. Uh, I am, you know, I'm on vacation. I can get in some long streams, so maybe now's the time to do that. I, I don't want to do them all back to back, but 
you know, I, I did a 2D game in between Tekken 5 Dark Revolution and, and uh, whatever is next. So maybe I can get a uh, Virtua Fighter 5 in. Um, there's some other 2D stuff I kind of want to play, but um, right now, maybe I'll do. Anyway, my, my current urge is to do some uh, some... Virtua Fighter 5 quest mode, that would be with Pai Chan. She is next in my little rotation. Uh, so maybe that's what will happen next episode, or it'll happen soon anyway. Um, I mean, other thoughts drifting in my head are Darkstalkers 3, or, uh, well, that's the main one that's popping into my head if I was going to go with a 2D game. Uh, well, so anyway, I, so there's always tons of stuff to play, even though even though uh, Tekken 6 is, is not not in my sweaty hands yet, so I just don't know. I just can't tell if it's if it's the dream game. Maybe that was the the, the final apotheosis of the of the Dark Re Resurrection. I keep saying Dark Revolution, Dark Resurrection style gameplay that I actually like, or it's the beginning of the Tekken 7 style gameplay that I really don't like. So. Uh, or it's a weird midpoint that will just leave me uncertain and in agony about whether I should play it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what's keeping me up at night currently. But uh, lots of stuff to play in the meantime. I just have to forget about that till it shows up. Uh, and thanks for watching this Sagat getting ripped to shreds. Uh, I still like this silly bleeder though even though I can only play about 10% of him uh, which is sad but there you go that's my Sagat 10% Sagat it's like you use 10% of your brain I use 10% of Sagat uh, so that's all I got for tonight thank goodness so uh, thanks for your patience and um, uh, hopefully see you later good night <laughs>